everybody. Uh, today's lunchtime stretch is all about shoulder stability. So talk a lot about posture of the upper body. Again, because we're all spend so much time driving and sat at, at desks and things, it's really important that we work on our upper body mobility. But it's also really important to work on the muscles um, that stabilize our shoulders, so our scapulas, our shoulder blades on the back, um, because that's going to be really effective for both posture, but also your performance in the gym if you're playing sports and things. So what we're going to do today is do a sequence of exercises that are going to get us warmed up, get us stretched out, but also work on some of the muscle strength um, in that area as well. So hopefully a few new ones for you, something a little bit more um, interesting um, and some new additions to add to your training. So let's start with a few that we know. So we're going to do a no money drill to start with. Really good, just for getting the area loosened up and warm. To start thinking about pulling those shoulder blades back together as you open the hands out. Okay, and now we're going to go down onto our mats, hands and knees, and we do a cat camel. So stretching gently one way and then rounding over. Really try and focus on the upper back, loosen it up. Take your time. Okay, now what we do is something called a push up plus. Now, this one's a little bit more challenging um, because you've got to think about what your shoulders are doing. It doesn't come naturally, this one. So, keeping the arms straight. What you're going to do is you're going to shrug the shoulder blades together and sink down towards the floor. So my arms aren't bending, they're staying straight. I'm then going to push the floor away. Okay, so shrug down, push the floor away. Shrug down, and then push the floor away. You can do this from a full press up position, which is a lot more challenging on the muscles of your shoulder blades, particularly this muscle under here, it's called your straightest anterior really important for shoulder stability. So we can do a few of those. So pull the shoulder blades together, sink the chest to the floor, push the floor away, and try and raise the middle of the back up towards the ceiling. It'll feel a bit strange this one to start with, but you'll feel it working. Okay. Now into our T rotations, working on the rotation of the upper back. Focus on opening the chest up. So you're not just moving the arm like this, we're really trying to rotate the upper body right around. Okay, and then onto the other side. Okay, so now we've kind of got the area warm and those muscles kind of, we're trying to get our brain connected with those muscles. But now we're going to try a little bit of strength work. So you're going to be in a front plank position and you're going to shuffle yourself across from side to side. As you do this, you're going to feel those same muscles we were working on with the push up plus starting to work a little bit harder. Okay, so it's actually quite difficult, that one. We're then going to go to an arms only bird dog. So normally when we do a bird dog, we kick the legs out as well. What we want to focus on today is lifting the thumb up towards the ceiling as we stretch out. So we're going to do 10 of those on each side. Really reach out as far as you can and then turn that thumb to lift towards the ceiling. And keep this other hand pushed actively away against the floor. Don't collapse down. And you'll feel that through the shoulder just as much as the side that you move in. Try not 
want to lean. As you lift your hand away, your body will want to compensate, it will want to slump down to actively push the floor away on that side. Okay, next we're going to do some W holds. So lying on your front, you're going to make a W shape. So my two arms and my head and shoulders make the W, okay? From there, you're going to lift up and squeeze and hold. You're really trying to focus on the little triangle of muscles in between your shoulder blades. You're going to hold that for five seconds and relax. Now the tendency will be to shrug the shoulders up around your ears. Try and keep the shoulders down and away from your ears. Really squeeze into those muscles in between your shoulder blades and relax. We're going to do three more. Help and squeeze. Relax, two more. Okay, last one coming up. Lift and squeeze. And relax. So hopefully you felt that right in these muscles here. So, we're going to go back to the bird dog position arm raise. Now, we are going to make it a little bit harder. We're going to rock back, stretch out in front, and then we're going to do our raises. And you're going to alternate sides. Because of this position we're putting ourselves in, it's going to be more challenge, more challenging on the shoulder muscles to lift that hand up. Obviously, if this is a bit too difficult, you can just rock forward a little bit, give yourself a little bit more space to work in. If you can, rock right back. Now focus on lifting those arms up. Really interesting to note, my left side has got way less range of motion than my right, which is kind of a common thing. But again, it's just another way of becoming in tune with your body and knowing your own body and where you need to work on. So, Everything should be feeling really nice and warm now, particularly these muscles in between. We're going to finish off by putting all the things together, the flexibility, the range of motion, the muscles working with the wall slide. Now when we do these in warm-ups, often we can just kind of rush through them, but what we need to do is really set yourself. Tuck your chin, abs tight, arms back, and focus on that big reach up, and then tucking the elbows down and squeezing the shoulder blades together before pressing up again. So just take your time, 10 crisp reps, really trying to put everything we've just been practicing into, into this movement. Couple more. and relax, shake everything out. That was all about shoulder stability. So give those a go. If there's a particular few favorites in there that you found really effective for you, stick those into your warm up or into your workout, or maybe just include them as a little bit of a daily routine, particularly if you spend loads of time sat at a desk. It's gonna be great for working on those shoulders and that posture. So that was our lunchtime stretch and move around. Enjoy. <laughs>